So this next video is for if you've mastered that bass line on your guitar and you want a little bit more of a challenge. So the whole pattern's going to look like this. We've got C, D minor, F, C. And that's the same all the way through the piece. So once you've mastered that, then you'll be well ahead. You can play it all. Okay, so the first chord then, we knew from before where we played the bass line, was going to be string number five, fret number three with my third finger. But then I'm also going to play strings one and three with my right hand. Okay, so you can see that I've got my pointing finger on string number three and my middle finger on string number one. And I can just pluck those both at the same time like that. So then I've got my bass note ready and I can play my bass note with my thumb and then those two chord notes with finger number one and two. So it goes um cha cha um cha cha um cha cha um cha cha. So that's the offbeat pattern that you get in all of these reggae songs. So I'll just show you one more time. So we've got bass chord bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord. So I suggest you spend at least five minutes just having a practice at playing that bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord. Because then when you transfer it to a different chord, then your coordination will already be there. So then we said we needed the D minor chord and the D bass note was actually just an open string. But then we need to have two more fingers pressed down. So the full D minor chord would actually be three fingers, but we're only going to use two of them. We're going to use a pointing finger on fret number one, string number one. And then we're going to use our second finger on string number three, fret number two. So I've made a little diagonal line there, okay? And then I'm going to use the same pattern again, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord. So if I have a go at changing between the C chord, we get this. And D minor. And actually this next change is quite easy. When we want to get from the D minor chord to the F chord, again we're going to use a shortened version of the F chord because it's really quite tricky. We're just going to put our third finger on string number four, fret number three. Okay, so it looks like that. And then again, I'm going to play exactly the same thing that I did for the D, uh, for the D minor chord. Same strings, same pattern, but here's the D minor. And here's that F major. Okay, so the whole pattern then, I'll just show you one more time. We've got our C. So that's what we're aiming for, and then to be able to play it all the way through the song, of course. If you found that a little bit difficult, maybe have another go at the bass notes, or watch this video again, or maybe you can have a go at just playing just the chord notes, okay? So our C chord was strings number one and string number three, and they were just open strings to begin with. So there's your C, and your D minor chord is string one, and string three on fret one and fret two. And you might have noticed that actually for the F chord it stays exactly the same. So my whole pattern for the for just the chord little bit would go C So that's another way that you can make it easier. So I hope that you've got plenty of work to be going on with. If you don't have a guitar, if you don't have a ukulele, if you don't have a keyboard at home, then you can have a go at the singing bit. But otherwise, see what you can do.